Hey guys, so I'm going to do my empties, so let's just get started, because I, every time I talk, I mean, I'm telling you, these videos are too long. So let's see, first thing is the Aveeno Active Natural Skin Relief 24 Hour Moisturizing Lotion. This is done. Um, most of it was used by my daughter, but I had used it too because my legs get so dry. It's, it's so bad. Like, I will scratch my legs until they bleed, but this was really nice and it did soothe it without it feeling heavy. But I do like lotions and body butters that feel like really hydrating and leave a foam. I finished another Herbal Essences Totally Twisted Curl Scrunching Gel. It just helps kind of, I guess, take some of the frizz out of my hair, but enhances the wave that I have or curl some days that it can be actually curly. I finished up the, and I would repurchase, I always repurchase that, and I finished up the Garnier Fruities Triple Nutrition Fortifying Shampoo. And it's for dry damaged hair. I don't have dry damaged hair, but the ends are dry, and I just, I don't know, I had wanted to give it a try. I've had this for over a year. I have been using it for over a year. Like, I didn't, like, stop using it. I continuously used it, but I used it in rotation with other products, so that's why it took so long. But this is what it looked like, and I did, I really did like this. I did. I would consider repurchasing it. I have a few face or sheet masks. One is... The Tony Moly Hydrating Coconut Face Face Mask Sheet, whatever. Um, it's for hydrating. I did like this a lot. I totally would repurchase it. I do like this one better, however. This is from Karuna. It's the Hydrating Face Mask. Um, I don't know. I like how the Karuna masks sit on my skin. Can you see this? There we go. Um, I don't know. I like how they sit on my skin. I feel like this did hydrate a little bit more for me. But I would still, because of the price point, I would buy the other one more frequently. The other one is what, $7.50 for two, and this one is $8 for one. And I also um, used another Karuna exfoliating face mask. I have repurchased this before, and I really like it because I really feel like I feel it working, and my skin looks a little less clogged in a way. So. Yes, I would repurchase that. Um, so we finished the Neutrogena Wet Skin Swim Humidity Sweat Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50 um, and the Aerosol Can. I do like these because they are nice and easy to apply. Um, this is not like one I would use every day. This is one that I would use like being outside and like use it on the kids and yeah, we've repurchased it so many times. I would consider repurchasing it. However, I have another favorite that just kind of trumped that. So I will finish what I have and repurchase something else and maybe put this like in the routine every once in a while because it's cheaper. Um, yeah, I'll have to, it's the Kula sunscreen, that's in case you guys wanted to know. So I finished the Clear Scalp and Hair Therapy Complete Care Nourishing Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. And it's just a deluxe sized, um, product that I got in the Walmart beauty box, I think, and I do like that, and my skin, my scalp did feel happy, if that makes sense. Um, so I would consider purchasing it. I finished the Clinique Repair Wear Uplifting Firming Cream, Broad Spectrum SPF 15, for dry combination to combination to oily. And it was just one of these guys, this is what it looks like on the outside, and I did get it for free from work. I wouldn't repurchase it with my own money because I do like other ones better for my skin type at least. I finished a CVS version of the Shea Butter and it's a knockoff version of the Dove Bar or Beauty Bars. Um, but I do like it and I I feel like using the CVS ones, if you like the Dove Bar soap, I'd say just try a pack from CVS because I feel like it's almost creamier, which is kind of weird, but I would totally repurchase that. I finished a few of the Dr. Dennis Gross um, Alpha Beta Peels Extra Strength Formula. Not as many actually as last time. I'm actually kind of surprising myself. There's only three. <laughs> so weird. Oh, another sheet mask. Maybe it's because I've been using sheet masks of the you know what. Um, the Sephora Green Tea Mask. I did like this one. I would repurchase it. Um, this one's for mattifying anti blemish and. My skin likes to be clogged, and sorry for the glare, but yeah, this is what it looks like. 
I um, threw out the razor obviously already, but this is the box for it, and this I got in the Walmart beauty box, I think the last one. And it's the Chic Hydro Silk Disposable Razor. And I really, really, really like this. I never tried this particular one. I've, had, I've tried other Chic ones, but this one was like, it just lighted over my skin. It was awesome. So yeah, totally would repurchase that. Um, I'm getting rid of this because there was just a little bit left, but it was just time. It's the Alginus Regenerative Anti-Aging Moisturizer SPF 20. I really do like this though. This is like a deluxe size. Um, yeah, I would actually consider purchasing it, but it might be a while. Finished the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. This is a little mini. I don't even know if they sell these anymore. But I do like this, and I would repurchase it. I finished another, I guess, deluxe size. I don't even know. This was like in a set, I think, or did I get this from for gratis? I don't remember. Algenus Genius Ultimate Anti-Aging Melting Cleanser. I do like this, and for a while I liked it like better than a lot of other ones, but I found that I like the Tatcha Cleansing Oil so much better. So I'll use what I have, but maybe not repurchase it. And the Dove Beauty Bar, the pink. Can you guys see? Yeah. Like it, I will always be with this stuff until things have changed with my body, maybe. Um, the Body Shop Coconut Soap, and it was the one that was in this packaging. really like the bar soap from the Body Shop. I would say give it a shot if you have a Body Shop near you. Finish the Exfolicate, and this is a smaller one. Um, Kate Somerville's Exfolicate. I have another little one like this. I think I got this in a set. The other one I'm working on is also in a set. Can you see this? I'm sorry for the bright light, you guys. I would actually purchase this one like, with my own money. That's why I haven't gone through all the Dr. Dennis Rose peel pads, because I used the crap out of that one. So I've got the Rose Fresh Rose Hydrating Eye Gel. Eye Gel Cream. This, I only used at night. I used a separate eye cream for during the day, but I swear to you guys, like, it seems totally finished. I would just dab my finger on it, go like this, and like pat it all around my eyes. And it, just that little bit went a long way, and I think I'd use this for like three months, and that's, no, was it longer than that? Maybe three and a half, three and a half, four months, somewhere around there. Last forever. I really love this. I would purchase this. Like, I would totally buy it with my own money. But yeah, I have a lot of other creams, eye creams to go through, so. I have a deluxe size of the Escada Joyful Fragrance, and it's such a cute little bottle. I'm bummed out that I used a little and then the top fell off and it spilled. And this one, I don't know, it's definitely a floral scent. I think I've heard some reviews saying that it's just not complicated enough for people, like they think it's kind of a boring scent, but I like it. Some days you just gotta go with a more or less complex scent and it's just you want to smell fresh, you know? And that's the kind of um, fragrance I think this is. Just a nice fresh fragrance. I would consider buying that. I finished the Peter Thomas Roth Max Sheer All Day Moisture Defense Lotion. I love this. Use it on my daughter too to kind of hydrate her skin but at the same time um, give her some sunscreen. I really do like it. Um, I think I've gone through like four or five of those bottles. Finish the Benefit Stay Don't Stray in light medium. This is um, a deluxe size sample. It lasted me like a month or so. I use it every day on top of my lids, under the eyes. I love this. I think this might be my holy grail eye primer. But I have so many others to use, so I definitely want to repurchase this. And I don't know. I'm going to try to just hold out, okay? Hold out, Natasha. <laughs> yeah. So I'm retiring my Clarisonic Deep Pour brush head because I've used it for way too long. I don't know. I really like this. I feel like I need lots of help to get my skin's butt into shape, if you know what I mean. Like it just, uh, my skin gets clogged so easy and it drives me crazy. So yeah, I need help. I need my chemical exfoliators and physical exfoliators and that is 
a really good physical exfoliator for me. I have finished a little sample of the Sunday Riley Luna sleeping oil or something like that. Again, I've mentioned this before in NMTs and I really love this. I might have to buy the bullet and just buy it. It's so good. It is so good. Like I feel like if the retinol does help and at the same time the what is it called? Blue tansy blue tansy oil. Um that does calm my skin too so it's like I've got a workhorse but then it's like something kind of soothing at the same time so it's not irritating my skin but I really love this and last but not least is a product oh actually sorry one other sample black tea aged light cream I don't remember a whole lot about it because I used it like at the beginning of the month um yeah I don't know I can't really comment on that sorry Okay, last but not least is a powder from MAC, and it's their Mineralized Skin Finish Natural, and I know that they've changed their packaging, but whatever, I've got so many older MAC products, I'm going to use it. It's in the color medium, if I didn't say that already. And it's a big product, but use that up, I will back to MAC that, and I would totally repurchase it. Yes, I think that is all. That's all for this month. This might be one of the shorter empties that I have. If you have any questions about any of the products that I've used, please um, ask me. I would, I will totally answer. I'm trying to be better about responding to comments quicker. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.